One of the reasons we love Nintendo games is that we know the characters. We've known them for nearly three decades, some of us our entire lives. Life is filled with such uncertainty, but, but through it all we know Mario. We know Link. We know Samus. Or so we thought. You know, in retrospect, the truth is, we never really knew her at all. And now that Tecmo's Team Ninja is shining a light on her dark and mysterious past, it's clear that Samus Aran isn't at all who we thought she was. This is what happens when an old friend defies your expectations. There's just one question, will you be as open to her changes as she's been to yours? This is Metroid Other M for the Nintendo Wii. At first glance, Other M looks like a bizarre shift for Metroid. The game blends two and three dimensional perspectives to create a distinct fusion of gameplay styles, and it feels very strange. At least, at first. Once you play for a while and explore the game's eerie alien environments, you oddly start to feel more at home. And that's because the game finds a way to incorporate design elements from Metroid games as diverse as Prime and even Fusion into one sweeping and surprisingly comprehensive new Metroid. But that's gameplay, and unheard of as it may be for a Metroid title, gameplay often takes a backseat to narrative in Other M. Now, prior Metroid games have told stories, obviously, but never in such a dramatic and theatrical manner. Uh, this time, you don't uncover the plot by scanning ruins or piecing together fragments of lore. Instead, Other M tells a more cinematic story, in the truest sense of the word. Get away from me! Of course, just as noticeable as the plot's cinematic flair is how personal it is. Now, this story isn't about saving a planet or killing a monster. It's about a conflicted woman struggling with her own identity. She isn't the tough and unwavering warrior she's always seemed to be. In fact, she's mired in a state of almost constant uncertainty. She's haunted by her past, and although she's killed countless beasts and demons over the years, she's never slain her own. What's really impressive about Other M is the way it manages to capture the spirit of Metroid, that undefinable trait which has spanned games ranging from first-person adventures to side-scrolling platformers, and again translate it into a new experience. From the design of the levels to the way you progress through them, there's definitely a Super Metroid vibe to the game's 2D segments, and when the action switches to first-person, it's an instant flashback to Prime. Of course, for this ambitious premise to translate into a practical gameplay experience, it would obviously have to control well. And it does. Sort of. You play by holding the Wii Remote sideways, uh, mimicking the way you played Metroid games on Nintendo's first two consoles. Moving through Other M with a D-pad works pretty well, and shooting enemies is handled with an auto-targeting system, which also works pretty well. But this mechanic is limited compared to analog control, and because the game takes place in 3D space, you'll sometimes run into a few D-pad hindrances, which just wouldn't exist with analog control. That said, those hindrances are relatively few, but switching to a first-person perspective can be a bit more problematic. Not only can you not move in first person, but you'll often waste a moment or two finding your reticule and getting yourself oriented. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it can mean all the difference between a successful missile strike and getting thrown to the ground. So ultimately, the first-person view works a lot better for exploring your environment than engaging in close combat. But unfortunately, sometimes Other M doesn't give you a choice. And it's the moments you're forced to battle from a first-person perspective that you see the shortcomings of this stationary mechanic. 
Paired with a few other questionable design choices, uh, like replenishing missiles and health simply by holding down the A button, instances like this give you the sense that Other M's cutscenes might have been more of a priority than its gameplay. And as engaging as that gameplay can be, it's definitely not as polished as what we experienced in the Prime games, even at its best. But, you know, forget the Prime games for just a moment. I know it's sacrilege, but this Metroid is doing something different. It's trying something different. Although there are definitely a few areas in which it falls short, there's much more here to like than to criticize. And if you're willing to embrace a character who is perhaps very different than you assumed, you'll appreciate finally learning more about Samus Aran than how to fire her arm cannon. Lost my mind. That howl I heard earlier. Could this creature have been the source? 